During regular crane operations using multi-layer spooling of the hoist rope, as is normal on mobile and crawler cranes, the greatest stress for the rope occurs at the crossing areas on the winch. The damage which occurs here generally plays a major part in the rope reaching its replacement state of wear. This also applies to any rope with multi-layer spooling. To increase its service life, we recommend that the rope is readjusted on the rope drum before it reaches its replacement state of wear. That means reducing the end of the rope on the rope drum by a length equivalent to 20 times the rope diameter. This relocates the damage in the highly stressed crossing area to the less stressed parallel area of the winch. Reducing the rope length only takes a few hours and is a job which can be carried out easily, for example during idle times on site. As an example, we will show you now how to proceed on an LTM 1750-9.1. The requirement for readjusting the hoist rope is that the hoist rope can be fully moved into the reeving system. After the rope has been unwound up to the safety cutoff point of the winch, place the hook block on the ground. The bypassing of the control for the complete unwinding of the rope will be done by the Leap Air service engineer. Important! Before releasing the rope, it's essential that you secure the rope with rope clamps and suitable slings to a suitable point on the crane. The rope can now be released from the fixing point on the drum and removed. The end of the rope which is to be cut must now be taken to the work area. The following work should ideally not be carried out on the crane, but on the ground or on a flat surface. Now mark the rope length to be cut from the end of the rope. This is around 20 times the rope diameter. Bind the rope tightly to the right and left of the marked point or secure it with clamps. The spacing between the ties or clamps should be around four times the diameter of the rope. The external layer of the entire length between the ties or clamps must now be carefully welded or soldered. Leave the end of the rope to cool in the air. Never quench it with water. Now cut the rope with an angle grinder. While the rope is being cut, the welded or soldered rope formation of the rope must not come loose. The clamps used to secure the rope can now be removed. The rope formation must not come loose during this process either. When you then install the rope again, ensure that it does not twist. Secure the rope to the fixed point on the drum and remove the rope securing clamps. Then wind on the rope up to the three securing windings. Important! Before spooling the entire hoist rope, the safety cutout must be reset by the winch rotary encoder. This will be done by the Leap Air service engineer. 
The remainder of the hoist rope must then be spooled onto the winch with a load which is at least 10% of the maximum line pull. Overall, the adjustment of the hoist rope on this LTM 1750-9.1 took just two hours. However, the service life of the hoist rope has been significantly extended by this work. We wish you all the best for your everyday crane work.